Hey there, for those who are still interested in this project, uh, I wanted to show you something. I've got myself a full-time job now for the past six weeks, so things have slowed down as I don't have, you know, 12 hours a day to work on whatever I want to work on. So, um, I was actually, I'm continuing to work on things, including the master class system here. And as I was uh, building the demo scene, basically, as an RPG game, um, I was getting kind of annoyed that, you know, since it's not... It's a class system. It's not classes itself. So the syntax was was uh, something different. It, it wasn't terribly difficult. It was just kind of annoying that it was different than what you know I might be used to. And I was thinking, you know what? If other people were going to use this, they're not going to want to do that. So I thought more about it. And I thought, what if instead of this class system, it's simply a class uh, creation system, and it can create classes because I really enjoyed one thing I definitely enjoyed is managing all this like as I build this, this is an RPG game it's a big RPG game as I build this I know I'm gonna be like adding more items I'm gonna be connecting the items with all these different things stat modifications and uh, bonuses and skill bonuses and different things being used all these different things that are gonna be important in the game and I really enjoyed this I've really enjoyed in the um, in the uh, the table editor uh, has been really cool. Let me bring that up. There we go. So like, I, I, you know, to set the experience of different enemies, you can just type new numbers here, new values here, and that's cool. I mean, it, you know, sight distances. I can, you can manage everything right here. Prefabs. Um, you know, stats. Is a whole table here of all the different stats that you can. So you can quickly see them and manage them. And, you know, this I find a lot easier than uh, working in the, once I have classes built and, you know, doing them in the inspector. Um, so I decided to do some work and I, there are a couple challenges. Turns out you can't, of course, call a class that doesn't yet exist and any classes here, now we have a new thing, class name for all these different things don't exist until I build the scripts and so it was very difficult but I've got some clever way of of doing this now all I'm gonna do is click this check out the so you know you've, we've got the structure here and now check out there's nothing there check this out it compiles things and after it's compiling it actually builds the scriptable object too and this these are all the classes so they're all set up um, uh, let's find something like, uh, yeah, some of these have, like, classes. This is, like, character classes. So it's got everything you need. It's going to have more. This is, of course, the uh, early draft. But then we've got the scriptable object, which is going to have, this is going to be populated one, uh, with all the items in here that you have. Uh, so now what this is is a system that you can build your classes, start building your game, coding just like you're used to coding, and then if you want to add new items or change things around or relink things, you can do that all in this system, which is far easier, I think, than, uh, than, than doing it basically in this scriptable object, you know, because here if you have a prefix, you know, uh, it's, it's just annoying. So, um, uh, yeah, so that's what I've been working on. So we'll see how long it takes, but, uh, you yeah, know, let me know what you think.